February 2020. Whoa. History repeats. Much like 1966, a colliery spoil tip above another Welsh village collapses under the weight of rainwater down the steep slopes of this narrow valley. In 1966, the Abavan colliery tip crashed into a school below and a number of houses, burying alive all those in its way. 116 children and 28 adults died on that fateful day. Here in Tyler's town, luck was on the side of residents and no one was harmed. Just how safe are these tips and what is being done to make sure this doesn't happen again? Since the landslide year in Tyler's town 16 months ago, we've worked extensively to safeguard the residents of Ron the Canon Tav. Would you like to elaborate on this extensive undertaking? No. 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 Uh, okay, so could you tell me a little about this massive waste and what happened in February 2020? Um, this is a Category D tip. What that means is it's categorised high risk. We are monitoring it, as I say, so we are satisfied with how it is at this point in time. But we are working to move the material off the hillside. So a Category A coal tip is the least risk coal tip and Category D is the highest risk. And here we are 16 months later. Yes. A recent BBC article said there are 294 high risk colliery tips in South Wales and 64 of the highest risk are in Ron the Cunnant Ave. Now, hang on, hang on now, no, hang on. What the BBC said was very, very, very misleading. Yes, there are 64 high-risk tips in South Wales, but that does not mean they're unsafe. What it means is that they need to be inspected on a more frequent basis. Category D tips are inspected every three months, every three months, to make sure that any potential issues which arise are dealt with in a timely manner. In a Wales Online news report just after the Tylerstown landslide, Leanne Wood, the AM at the time, said it was concerning. No one seemed to know who owned the land on which the tip sat. If this tip, which we now know is owned by Ron the Canonsav Local Authority, was proactively monitored on a three-monthly cycle, why wasn't the risk of failure proactively dealt with? Well, uh, well, uh, right. Firstly, Leanne's out. She's gone. So don't worry about what she said. Secondly, we knew nothing about the waterlogged middle and upper part of this tip, so we can't be blamed for what happened. But you were proactively monitoring this tip as it was a Category D high-risk tip in the ownership of RCT. Well, well, of course. Mr. Thomas, this is a video interview. <coughs> yeah, all, all right, all right. So you knew nothing of the ponds in the middle of the nothing. tips known locally nothing. as Mother Nature's no. Ponds? Nothing. Yet it can be clearly seen on OS maps, local authority maps, Google Earth and a wide variety of other geological sources, presumably including local authority proactively monitored coal tip inspection reports. Well, that's right. And nothing was proactively done to drain these ponds, ensuring water buildup didn't cause the tips to slide. Just like water buildup caused Abavan colliery spoil to slide in 1966, and just like what happened here in February 2020. It wasn't deemed to pose a risk. A large body of water at the centre of a volatile mass of coal spoil didn't cause a risk. That's right. We can't be blamed for rain. OK, so moving on, what is being done about the other 63 high-risk tips in Ron the Cunnant Ave? Look, stop calling them high risk. But isn't that the term that's used to describe a Category D tip? Well, well yeah, but when you say it like that, it makes me and everybody else feel uneasy. OK, fine. What are you doing about the other 63 Category D tips in RCT? We proactively monitor in them all on a three-monthly cycle. Three-monthly basis, three-monthly cycle. So you're not physically moving the spoils to make them more safe by flattening or some form of landscaping? Look, that's what we're doing at Tyler's Town. We're busy at work here. Nowhere else? No. 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 They're safe enough with three monthly proactive monitoring. Three monthly. Like this colliery spoil in Tyler's Town was prior to 2020? Exactly. Exactly. Whoa. Oh my God, that's bad. 
Right, do we done now? God, you bloody wore me out. Not used to all this sun in this place. It rains all the time. Do I have a nap now? I'm so bloody tired.